Hi, it's Greg Vincent here and welcome to Electric Avenue. Today I want to ask you, what is the greatest customer service experience you've ever had? You see, it's interesting when you look at what happens out there in the marketplace and the customer service levels that companies are now providing is pretty poor. And it's interesting, you don't have to do a great amount of extra things over and above to be in a position where you actually stand out from the crowd. And it was interesting because I was at a party on Saturday night and my friend Paul came up to me and we were talking about his new motorcycle that he just bought. He just bought a second-hand Ducati and he actually, every time he buys a motorcycle, and he buys one probably once every year or two, he comes up and he's always talking about the particular bike and the model and why he bought that particular bike. But this time it was completely different. You see, Paul was in a position where he spent all the time talking about the dealership, talking about the company that he actually bought the motorcycle from. See, what happened was that when he went to buy the motorbike, they checked it over and looked at the logbooks and they normally run it through their computer and they said, well, uh, unfortunately the computer's down and we can't actually run it through there, but by looking at the logbooks and knowing the bloke that owned the motorcycle, it should be okay. So they then went and they got the motorcycle, got him and put him into a room on his own and with a person there and you know one of their staff members and went right through the bike thoroughly before he even went off and rode it. And he said that in itself was a fantastic experience. But he said, I got on the bike, we were just about to head off and the sales manager and someone else came out and said, look, before you go, We've just checked this out and apparently this motorcycle has actually missed one particular service and what we'll do is uh, you can bring it back anytime you like and we'll do that service for you for free because that's not how we do business around here is to let you go off with a motorcycle that we don't believe has been serviced properly. So all of a sudden he's in a position where he's gone back, he's done the service and he just said it, the whole service experience was just amazing and I said well would you go back and get your service done there he said absolutely he said and I would absolutely go and I would buy my motorcycle from that particular company again and it was really interesting because he said to me I thought it was Fletcher's was the name of the uh, name of the company so what I did was I googled I knew that it was a motorcycle dealership in Strathfield, so I googled that and up came the name of the company. It's Fraser's Motorcycles in Strathfield. And it's interesting to see that Paul was in a position where everyone at the party has now heard about this particular motorcycle dealership down at Strathfield. And now I'm in a position where I'm sharing this up on a YouTube and all of my friends are starting to find out about this motorcycle dealership in Strathfield. It's amazing if you just get these raving fans and think about what you can do that could just tip the scales and make you stand out in your marketplace so that you can get this word of mouth recommendation happening whether it be at a party or whether it be via the social media networks. It's really really powerful when you think about the fact that if you just have a think about what is the greatest customer service experience you've ever had and have a think about how far above and beyond they actually had to go to make you rave about them and you'll generally find that they don't have to do very much at all. So that's been today's show. Have a think about what you can do and implement into your business and if you've got any questions or any comments underneath I'd love to hear what's been your greatest ever uh, customer service experience you can post it in underneath uh, otherwise contact me via Facebook and Twitter and I look forward to catching up with you on the next show see you then bye